Hey guys, Tori Ann Perky here. From my homeschool to your homeschool, today I want to talk a little bit about dyslexia. So dyslexia is one of those things that if it showed up in your kids or you're thinking maybe your kids have dyslexia, the first thing you probably are thinking is that they don't read very well, that they're flipping their letters, that they're having trouble writing, they're having trouble knowing left from right. And if you've never had any experience with dyslexia, it can be kind of scary because when we think about dyslexics, we think about the fact that they have trouble writing and they have trouble reading and will they be functional in society? Will they be able to do their schoolwork? And maybe you've come to this idea that your kids have dyslexia because reading and writing have been such a struggle. You have fought and worked and fought and worked and it doesn't seem like your kids are progressing and then suddenly you realize maybe it's dyslexia and you either read a bunch about it or maybe you get them tested and you find out they have dyslexia and as with any diagnosis that says your kid falls out of the mainstream and seems to carry with it the added weight that something is going to be hard, as a mom, I know that what can happen is you start to feel this weight that things are going to be a problem and you start to be afraid and you start to worry and you think, oh, how am I going to manage this? And how do I know this? Well, because the way things worked out in our family, it turns out that three of my four kids have some form of dyslexia. And I had no idea when we started homeschooling that it was going to be such a pervasive issue in my family until I started doing some more research. And what I learned is that dyslexia is far broader and more comprehensive and takes in a lot more different types of learning and problems and different ways of seeing the world than I originally had thought. And the more I learned and the more I researched, the more I realized that dyslexia wasn't something to be scared of. It was something to be celebrated and managed. And one of the number one key resources that led me to this belief that totally rocked my world and changed my opinion about dyslexia is this book. Ta-da! It's called The Dyslexic Advantage, and it's by a couple of these amazing people who have, you know, look, all these letters behind their name, which always makes me feel good because it means it's not just someone's opinion, but it, there's some science to back up what they do. And I always talk about this book called The Dyslexic Advantage as the black book with the yellow egg on the cover. And this book changed my perspective of what my dyslexic kids were all about. First of all, it helped me broaden my perspective as to what dyslexia actually is. It's way more than flipping letters. It's way more than not being able to write or read well. It actually, there's such a thing as dyscalculia where you have trouble with math. And there's other ways of having trouble with dyslexia in terms of being able to uh, not know uh, how to move in certain ways or, or just all sorts of stuff. But as I read this book and as I researched, what I learned is that rather than being a disability, it's actually kind of like a superpower because what dyslexics can do is they can see the world from a different kind of way. They see it from a different angle. Uh, this book in particular talked about how there's different kinds of ways that dyslexics see the world, whether it's three-dimensionally or they're able to uh, understand how things are connected in a way that most of us can't. And this is what makes them super powerful when it comes to certain kinds of careers and it makes them really great artists and engineers and uh, mathematicians sometimes. It just depends on the kind of dyslexia they have. And what it also helped me realize, this book and the research I did, was that rather than seeing this as something that was going to hold them back, I could see it as something that was going to supercharge their future. All we had to do was kind of manage the parts that were a little trickier. So spelling is harder for my dyslexic kids. Writing is harder for my dyslexic kids. But that doesn't mean they're disabled. It means we just have to manage the fact and work a little bit harder on some of those topics and let them fly on the things that they're super amazing at. And I'm here to tell you my dyslexic kids are phenomenal at the things that I don't even know how they do. I have an artist. I have one who can make connections in her brain so fast and see the connections when it comes to literature and personality and human interaction. And I've got an engineer who can put things together just by looking at something and then he can build his own model of it. He can see how math fits together in his head in things that I have to write down. He just can connect it all in his brain. 
That is the power of dyslexia. And I would not have understood or appreciated that if I hadn't taken the time to read about how it really is this amazing thing. So if you have a dyslexic kid, or if you're thinking you might have a dyslexic kid, I highly, highly recommend you go check out this book. Totally changed my perspective. I went from worrying that my kids were going to have a challenge and that they weren't going to be able to be successful to kind of wishing that I had dyslexia because it is so awesome. I totally call it our superpower. And my kids own it and love the fact that they have minds that think differently. Think in a way that other minds don't, and it allows them to do things that normal minds can't do. Ah, super, super cool. So that's the book I'm recommending for you today. I'm Tori Ann Perky, and I make these videos every week to help you be a super successful and confident homeschool mom.